Hey, uh, this is Tilak. Welcome back to another tutorial on Hessian Oracle Hessian. Today we are going to look at the look at a new product. This is a series of uh, tutorial. Today this is the first tutorial. We are going to look at a product called System Extract. If you are a techno functional consultant, it, you must know this product because this is one of the uh, product. You can customize, you can write a formula and all the stuff. It's good to know this product. As an introduction, uh, this is basically allow you to get a data from a different uh, product of ICM uh, using a fast formula or a database items. It is more like a, like, you know, either you can call it as a reporting tool or you can like, you know, transmitting your data from a one system to other system or one product to other product. You can do that. The output is XML. In case if you are coming from a ERP side and you know the system extract over the is a different product. In the ERP side, the system extract based on benefit. Okay, the product basically developed for benefit, but here it is more of a uh, like you know payroll. There, uh, fast formula is a, a part of the product. Here, the fast the product itself is made from a fast formula. In ERP side, the benefit engine was used to process the data. In Fusion, it is the payroll engine that processes the data. Those are, there is a, some of similarities there, but there's a lot different. So it is almost like a new product. Uh, in this session, or in this tutorial, we are going to develop a, a small default system ex extract setup, and we are going to get the data out of it, okay? Now you go to, once you log into the ICM, you go to the my client group. In the my client group, you can see a data exchange. In the data exchange, ICM extract is there, and we are going to get into a extract definition. Okay, you can see all the whatever is there, like by default or whatever the previous created. You can see that now. I'm going to create a new extract definition. Okay, when you are creating it, either you can use a template or you can create as create a new, so you can define everything you want. Since it's the first lesson, we are, lesson we are going to use a template. Okay, In the template. This is all CETA templates they have given to you. Now we go to that uh, like you know HR archive full profile. This is basically a simple extract, like you know. So like you know, we are going to HR archive and I'm going to use the employee. So I'm giving you uh, this one. I say demo trust zero, okay, zero, zero, 001, just a name. This you say report. Okay, we'll talk about that later. There's not much difference between a report and defined. So by default, you can take a report. Changes only I'm telling no. Uh, we will explain later about that. Okay, okay. Once you've done okay, then like basically you get what are the information or the group of information you do that. If you look at here, is, is employee, so is everything coming from a person? Within the person, what are the information you need it? Okay, now if you choose a person name, then everything will be chosen here. Don't, don't select here, unless you want everything from that. You go here, select whatever you want it. So let me take a first name, last name, and the full name and the type and uh, say when it is started. Okay, then I'm going to the email, email type, email address, date from. For the timing, this is enough. So this is a two records. So like, you know, there's no save button, so only cancel. The only thing is you have to go review here. Keep in mind, this is always I confuse. I always look right side what to do. Here, you have to get into review from here. Okay, then you save. Yes. Then I'm going there. It is not going out to go out there. Okay, I choose one. Okay, now I'm editing. 
okay now what you see this is the definitions they created that it is employees uh, this one okay now this is a lot we can uh, remove it like you know, if i can click there say something like you know from any name and save it so basically you can edit that it's not a big deal we'll come back to that later now it already created two parameter okay the effective date and the baseline we'll come we all when we look at that we will come back to that also now the design is basically you look at the design it has got a root node within that we have a, okay they call it a ue the user entity the root user data group or you can say data group is a root data group then there is a email data group person data group within that you have a record email the email if you are clicking the email here then all this inform that whatever that information as attribute goes here the same thing here there is a person entity or a group within that there is a record called person name detail if you go here you have all the information they can uh any like you know uh the ERP we say is item here they say we call it attribute okay so you have attribute here this is that the primary here okay this is the design of it okay now the deliver that you have to know what is the delivery method what is the delivery method uh what is required i don't know what is required here and like if you are coming here this is the output name this is the only thing you have to know that the output name is here delivery type is none the output name this is where that the, this is like you know you can say here see yeah like you know just a, and you can you can have it employed it i am putting a zero zero one okay so this is more the most important then we will come back to that this is a basically this is all that uh we'll come back to that like this also we are not going to get into that okay preview is basically like you can run it for a one person in a debug mode or a in a regular mode you can run it okay now i am canceling that at i'm going to run it okay run the okay now how do i run it here if you are looking at that here is the view button is the view the extract definitions uh, sorry result then there is something you can uh, like you, know, you can run the result and here there are a few more functions available there hierarchy you can see the hierarchy like whatever the hierarchy is there like we saw that like it's the name is a I means root and that there is a person within the person you have a email and the person name okay uh, then you can export that so you can like you know move the product to somewhere else then you can delete that you can copy or rename that product that is also you can do that okay now we are going to run this product okay you have to give us some name okay i give a name same thing i'll give it with a date and time so for me it is uh 02 february 04 and four four o'clock so this is 16 okay and this is that the record this one you put a, i'll give a same date i'll give it okay okay we will we'll come to the baseline it is a noise okay we are not getting into baseline and all the stuff we don't need that now as soon as possible i am submitting it okay and i refresh it should come here okay now it is going to process it is going to take a time because it's going to process all the employees okay and we will come back to that okay by the time in this lesson i'm going to show you the result uh, then in the next tutorial probably I'll, I'll go into the detail of what is what what is the uh, root node what is that uh, the data group what is the attribute where it is coming from what you can change it what is the relation between this data group to the root node or root node uh, i mean or uh, like you know group to group all this we can look into the detail into the uh, the setup in the next tutorial i'm getting into this one now you can see the instance detail what is happening here
okay now it is done okay everything is green good thing it is everything is done now okay if you have any kind of a criteria advanced criteria anything that will appear here because here only we have the parameter nothing else is here so this is tell you how many threads executed then that what are the the delivery option will be here here you can find out what the file is output is here okay now we can download this one. okay now you may not get any diagnostic information because nothing is there okay, that error is zero one is zero but then we can go and find out the more analysis here okay so okay now we go to that output we see the output i believe it comes in xml and let me look at that. this is the file okay and now that xml is open the data ds group one barrel data action this is all this we are having is this object id now we come to the person names the person person names well within that you have the person name and the person name detail that's our current information then you have the information of this one okay so there are a few people might be having here this one and uh, okay employee 13 13 13 years this is probably there is uh, see that the type it says global and it says us so basically that there's a two different types of that that's the reason it's giving it duplicate got a duplicate record there's a two record from that one is a global that we can filter that later okay i'll tell you how to filter that record now we go to that mail let's see because everybody may not have the mail okay now email come to here like here that like we have the person name now we have the email here the person has got an email so which person has an email now look at that we go to here uh first name max bailey so the bailey max is having an email that that is the email type is w w1 that probably work email and then email is whatever the scan this is the email Okay, this is how the 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 result work. Now you can put a kind of a what you call a VIP template on that. Then you can make it the way you want to look like. You can convert them into RTF or you can convert them to Excel. Whatever you want to convert that, you can convert them that. Okay, we will look into the next lesson the detail of the setup of extract. Till that, bye.